Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 4 of the mobile network overview course. This is Hamid, Hamid Reza Hassani, and I am really happy of seeing you here again. Uh, in the episode 3 uh, we came to some network elements of the core networks. Uh, mm, let's say uh, we uh, we've introduced MSC, uh, Media Gateway and uh, Signaling Gateway. But right now I'd like to uh, uh, go to the details about these subjects. Uh, let me tell you something. Okay. Uh, about the um, core network, I told to you that MSC server uh, play an important, very important role. It is play the switching, switching center. Uh, it is, um, uh, it is a very important node for call control, mobility management, and media gateway control. And uh, we told that it is responsible for control plane. Uh, and release four to the later okay uh, and media gateway was responsible for bearer bearer layer is uh, something that is uh, uh, carrying the service bearer can be voice uh, here here is voice for example in data in data service bearer means uh, data packets okay uh, when I say beer, I always remember a tube like this that a follow up service is going through that. Okay, so this is the meaning of beer. Mm -hmm. uh, here you see, for example, um, it is maybe an M. I, yes, it is a, as I see the boards. Uh, mm, uh, it cannot uh, be defined that what is the hardware but for example uh, suppose that it is a MSC uh, in this session I like to uh, introduce uh, some concepts about the hardware of the telecom telecommunication infrastructure do you see here the uh, hardware uh, architecture that is used is ATCA or ATCA ATCA is the uh, acronym for Advanced Telecommunication Computing Architecture. So what is ATCA? Let's uh, do some, I think it's good that I show you some, uh, uh, something on the whiteboard, okay? Uh, it, mm, here I like to tell you something about the computer uh, or oh, sorry telecom telecommunication or mobile networks uh, mm, also we can tell mobile networks uh, hardware architecture The best of my knowledge, uh, the first generation of the mobile networks uh, architecture was CPCI. It is compact PCI, but uh, the drawbacks and the negative point of this uh, this architecture was that uh, in the software and hardware were were dependent together. So, for example, if you had a, a rack, some shelf, and uh, for example, one board here get faulty, you should get, uh, you should uh, wait until the spare part came to you and replace with that. Um, it was a, it was a, mm, it was not a good point. It was a negative point. So the next generation wanted uh, the goal of next uh, uh, architecture was to make hardware and software a little bit independent so uh, here ATCA or advanced telecommunication computing architecture uh, board uh, in this architecture uh, we have some universal boards uh, an operating system for example Linux or Windows uh, I, I saw the most of types that I see uh, I, I saw in my career was Linux 
for example in Huawei I see Linux SUSE distribution okay here uh, the hardware and software uh, were independent for example uh, the, in some you have some universal boards like uh, like what you see here okay these are some universal boards you see at the first I couldn't uh, recognize what is this rack for because uh, the boards are uh, general and universal and uh, the software is installed on this for example suppose that if one of them become faulty so uh, you should only install the software again and this is the very good point so uh, in this uh, this type of uh, architecture became very popular so uh, and it was the it was a good point for starting SDN and NFP software defined network and network function virtualization uh, which is a very hot topic until now which are at 2021 software defined network and network function virtualization these are two uh, different concepts that we will go through them in the next uh, slides for example in the next uh, sorry episodes for example in uh, when we went to start a 5g course uh, we will uh, uh, we will discuss about the details of these two uh, technology maybe also we uh, we, uh, we uh, i uh, produce some uh, specialized course about uh, SDN and FNA in the future uh, may uh, probably okay uh, so it was a, uh, a little uh, history about the uh, architecture and let me tell you something again something else about two uh, two fundamental concepts in the telecommunication we have two things in the mobile networks when we tell when we say mobile networks we have two things first one is generation the second is release when I uh, when I uh, tell you about the generation okay for example 1g 2g 3g 4g 5g and etc when something uh, like a revolution happens in a generation of mobile networks we uh, uh, and uh, some uh, I mean I don't mean we uh, some international uh, uh, organizations responsible for this will introduce the uh, new generation for example 2g or 3g but when something in the architecture or some features uh, uh, change there is a new release for example right now the 5g is standardized and uh, some study about 6g is started but the release uh, to the best of my knowledge is r16 and it is september 22 uh, 2021 r17 release as uh, if i write okay um, about the release um, the first release of mobile networks was R99 uh, in R99 uh, we had just an MSC mobile switching center we didn't have media gateway so MSC was so MSC was responsible for both CP and UP it was uh, responsible for both of signaling and voice mm, but it was not a good uh, option so in release 4 release 4 we had we separated the CP and UP we separated these two things so we make MSC responsible for CP okay and media gateway for UP okay 